three transfer rumours for Rangers today. Uh, well, I say three transfer rumours, three transfer reports. Two is looking likely, one I don't know. Um, Fabio Cardoso. It is looking very likely that Cardoso will not be part of Rangers um, next season. As far as I'm aware, I don't know whether it's true or not, but Steven Gerrard has um, met with Fabio Cardoso and told, and basically said to him, you're free to leave the club, you're no part of our plans, um, and you're free to go. For me, I'm gutted because he's, I thought maybe Rangers or Steven Gerrard could have got the best out of him. He's in his early to mid 20s, he's young. He's got a lot of potential as a defender, a lot of potential as a football player, uh, but it's look but whether Rangers could have got the best out of him was another question. In which case, it's looking very likely no. Um, at the beginning of the season, he looked very good. He did. He looked very good. Looked pretty solid. Then, when then during the season, he started to die away. Started to get a bit more naive, nervous. Um, kept getting bullied off the ball and bullied on the ball. Uh, then when his nose got broken against uh, was it Ryan Edwards for the Motherwell? Uh, it may have been him. It might be someone else. I'm not sure. Um, but as soon as his no when his nose got broken, that's when everything just went spiraling downhill for him. Uh, and really. Uh, And they came back from the nose break. What I will remember is when he headed the clearance away against Aberdeen and he was on his knees celebrating. It, I don't want, I, I'm not going to take the piss out of him. It just shows he has got passion, he has got fight, he does want to prove himself. But it will only be at Rangers, yeah, it will be somewhere else. And all I can say, all I can say is thanks for trying your for trying hard, Fabio. Thanks for your inspirational messages. In fact, you know what? I'm not gonna, you know what? Folk take the piss out of him for because he, he's because he's been inspirational messages. Even though, I he he tries hard, he tries hard, and you get all these supporters taking the piss out of him. Go look in a bloody mirror, why don't you? He tries hard. He really tries. Might not work out. But at least he makes an effort. What the hell do you lot do? But I, it might not work out for him. But he, at least he does try. So Fabio, all the best to you, mate. And hope your future's future is bright. Hope you do well. Uh, my second story today will be Eduardo Herrera. Um, I'm gonna keep this one short. He's expected to sign for some club in Mexico, to return to Mexico, to sign for another team. Um, 29 years old, he didn't, he wasn't he played up to his full potential. Obviously because he was only given seconds or so. Game time. It just shows how much Graham Martin never had a clue, and how much Pedro Cachinha didn't he? In fact, why did, why did Cachinha bring him in in the first place if he's not going to game, game, game time? Just why? They're wasting talent's time. And you know what? I don't blame players for and what's that what I, what I liked about Herrera? He didn't he didn't he bitch about it, didn't he complain about it, didn't he sulk about it, didn't he moan about it. He just kept a smile on his face and just kept going in his life. Travelled over bloody mate travelled over bloody Scotland. The best out he's getting made a life in me. Uh, that's another one I, I want to wish well. Um, he wasn't he played to his full capacity. He wasn't he played to his full potential. He wasn't he given the chance, in my opinion. All I can say is thanks for trying your best, uh, Pereira. And and best of luck in your future. Uh, my third one is Josh Windass. Um, reports going round that uh, Cardiff City have, been, have either made a bid of £3 million or have met Josh Windass's release clause. Release clause of three million now. Whether there's a bid or whether there's the release clause, I don't know. But there is no danger in my mind that his 
Aberdeen supporting arsehole of a father, Dean Windass, is playing. I think he's part of it. I think he's playing part of it. I think he wants Josh to leave so he can go back, maybe back into England, Wales, or whatever. So you know what? See for me. See if Steven Gerrard wants Josh there. Don't argue with it. And here's a message to you, Dean. See if Josh Windass. See if Windass wants to stay fine. See if Steven Gerrard wants wants him to stay. Then he stays. As for you, Dean, you can piss off. You're the very reason why Josh Windass gets so much abuse nowadays. Whether he plays plays good, whether he's off the boil, whether he's up and down, whether he plays poor. You're that very reason why Josh Windass gets abuse. Because you talk him up saying he's too good for the SPL. So what? At least he tries harder than you do. I just wish Dean Windass would. I wish Dean Windass would just go away. He's the reason Josh Windass gets abuse, which is absolutely uncalled for. It shouldn't be Josh Windass that gets targeted. It should be his bloody dad. It's his bloody father that makes it ten times worse for him. So you know what? I keep Josh Windass. As for Dean Windass, I'd rather get him. I'd rather tell him to, to jog on. Cause he is part he is the main part of the problem. Uh, obviously Gerard wants to keep uh Windass. I'd keep him. Windass has got the most potential amongst every other Rangers players we've got. The other players uh Goldson, Katic, uh Rossiter. All these guys. Josh Windass is one of these players that has got the genuine potential to be world class. He's got that potential. And yet his dad He's trying to he's He's too he's too busy he's too busy living up his own backside. Dean Windass is the problem. No Josh. Dean. I'm sorry for rat for going off about that going off about it, but it just when I heard when I see the Josh Windass situation, I'm thinking his father's part of the problem. So it's pretty obvious Dean Windass wants Josh to leave Rangers, it's pretty obvious. You wouldn't expect anything less for somebody who played for Aberdeen, you wouldn't expect anything less. Uh, so, Cardoso, all the best to you. Herrera, all the best to you. Josh, Ignore what your old man's saying. Ignore what he says. You're no too good for this PF S Scottish Premiership. You're the exact right level for it. Your father when he isn't even good enough to play in a Sunday league. Josh Windass is not too good for the SPL. He is the perfect level for the SPL. He is the perfect level for the Premiership. And as for Dean Windass, like I said seconds ago, Deep Windows probably hasn't got the potential to play in a pub league.